Hi, I'm Steve from the Phone House Online and I have the Acer Liquid Jade S here. Now this is quite a new quirky little phone from Acer. It has some features on it that you wouldn't find on other phones. If you're just looking at it, it looks like a, a really nice, neat, thin phone. It has a really good quality feel to it. it. has that nice curved glass around the edges like you'll find on the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. And then it has a textured back. It has a textured back for grip. And a little pretty camera out there. But a bit more on them later. Something to point out about this, because it's a little bit different, is the fact that it's a dual SIM phone. So if I pull out the SIM card slot here, you can see there's a SIM card there, but also you've got this extra slot here. Now you can either put a memory card in there to expand the storage or an extra SIM. And you might want to do that to keep work and home separate. So you can have two SIMs, two numbers, and you won't have to mix them two without having separate phones and going through all that hassle. Or if you travel to other countries a lot, you can just keep switching on the software side and not have to worry about two phones again or switching SIM cards, which isn't the easiest thing to do every time you want to do it. Having a, a little extra look around the side of the phone, you can see the buttons on the side there, just this normal sound. You've got the, they've opted for the power button on the top rather than the side on these large phones, but it doesn't feel hard to get to it all. It feels quite nice and easy there. And it's, and let's just add, it's got a, 3mm, 3.5mm jack on the top there for playing your music and a micro USB for charging the phone as normal. Now if we have a closer look at the screen you can see it's a 5 inch display so it's pretty big and it feels big as well so when you're going through the menus, playing games, using the different apps it feels like there's a lot of space but it also doesn't feel huge in your hand. And, it doesn't, and because it's so thin, it doesn't feel big in your pocket either, which is nice. It's got an IPS display, LCD display, which just means the colour reproduction and viewing angles are really great on it. It's all 720p as well. So the resolution, while not 180p phone, it is a lower price point. So you wouldn't expect that on something like this, but it still looks really nice and sharp. And I have no general complaints about it just by looking at it. So now we're going to have a look at the cameras. On the front, it has a 5 megapixel camera, which isn't bad, like considering where we were at a few years ago with 5 megapixels being on the back. Now you have one dedicated to taking pictures of your face. And it's got the normal software features for the back and the front, HDR and panorama, which is mostly stuff you're going to be using on the back camera, which is a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash. LED flash. It's not the best camera, but it is but it works well and especially on the mid-range handset it's quite a nice implementation of it there. Now if you take a look at the back of the phone you notice this. It's just simply a loudspeaker because normally you're going to you're going to get speakers down the bottom here on other smartphones and it's really easy to cover up with your hands. If you're trying to show a video to somebody it's not that loud. But on this one you can pop it down like this play something to a piece of audio, or if you just hold it like that and cover it with your hand, it's going to shoot the sound out there and it's going to sound really nice and you're going to actually, it's actually going to be usable to show videos to people outside, even if there's some background noise. So on the software side, it's running Android KitKat, which isn't the newest version, but they say it's going to get upgraded to that sometime this year, so you don't need to worry if about falling behind and still the software is still quite nice for this I don't feel like you're missing out on anything major yet if you're not a tech head and you don't really care about such things but if you are you can wait and get it when it is released on this phone something nice to talk about on the software side as well is called quick mode and what quick mode does is let you let you set up little versions of the operating system inside of itself and this is good for a couple of reasons um, if you're buying this phone for a parent who's not so confident with the operating system, you can just start this little mode up and you can just have a couple of apps for them to use and then they can't dig into all the depths of the operating system and destroy anything. Plus it's really easy to use, so if they want to get to the internet browser they can do that, if they want to get to their emails they can do that, they don't need to worry about all of the other stuff. 
You can even set up another mode, which say is specifically for, I would use it for my nephew. I will set it up in that mode and he can only access the games. He can't get to my messages or emails. And that's really nice. And I won't have to worry because I can just give him my phone and not have to worry about any of the stuff being middled or ruined with. So now running this software, is a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz processor. Now this is not an amazingly fast processor, but for its price point, it's pretty good. It will run most normal games. It's not really gonna tap those high-end games unless they, unless they run really well uh, on the lower end phones. Things like Modern Combat will lower itself, will lower the graphics settings. So you can still play games like that, but they're not gonna look as great as they would on a high-end phone. It's got a one, one gigabyte of RAM, which is okay for this phone. It'll, it's enough to save stuff in the background so it won't seem like it's refreshing all the time. Again, some of the highlights, it's a really good price for this phone. For the screen you get, for the cameras you get, for the little quirky speaker, it being a dual SIM phone, it's really good for the price. And adding on top of that, a premium feel. I don't think you're gonna pull this out somewhere and they're immediately gonna, immediately gonna say you've got a really cheap phone. It looks nice, it feels nice. I would put just under par with the iPhone or Moto X or something like that. It's a lovely looking phone.